know, people are always asking me what's better, Patong, Phuket, or Pattaya? And, you know, I don't really know the answer to that question, so I thought I'd um, try and make a video about it today because, yeah, I've been thinking about it for a while and um, it's a pretty hard question to answer. So both these places have got something in common, they're both beachside suburbs and they're both very appealing. Um, with the uh, Pattaya Beach, it's very spectacular looking, there's always a lot of boats sitting just off the beach and um, you know, always see the water sports and the parasailing and the banana boats and the jet skis out there. But none of it goes off the beach anymore, you've got to go out to the, um, to the pontoons and stuff to do that. Now in Patong, it all still happens straight off the beach, so I think that's an advantage for Patong. Um, but yeah, the, the beaches certainly both look nice. Now, Patea Beach, I would not swim in the water. I do see people swimming there, but um, yeah, it wouldn't be my choice to um, go swimming. Now, if I was to want to go swimming in the Patea area, um, I'd go to maybe Jomtian or catch the ferry over to Koh Lan. Now, there's some lovely clean beaches over there, and um, yeah, that'd be my pick. Now, the other thing is, both the beaches also have a lot of night activity. Now, both beaches have a lot of people wandering around at night on the beach, have a lot of freelancers down the beach. Um, there's always something going on. So at no nighttime activity, I'd rate both the beaches fairly similar. Um, Patea's probably got a bit more going on because it's a lot longer beach. Um, probably four kilometers compared to say two kilometers of um, Patong Beach. So night time, probably Patea Beach. Now again, both places have heaps of entertainment and heaps of tourist attractions. Patea has the Sanctuary of Truth, um, Nongnuch Gardens, um, the big uh, movie theme park, um, Ramayana Water Park, Silver Lake, um, and just stacks more attractions they're everywhere there's a stack of temples there's three buddhas um, you name it it's got it it's yeah you, pretty much everything you can do here you can motorbike um, ride you can take um, buggy tours you can do everything in Pattaya okay so tourist attractions for Patong now I think Patong wins this one hands down there's so much to do in Patong there's all the theme parks and there's um, elephant sanctuaries and beautiful beaches everywhere and stuff like that and then you've got all the islands so you've got PP Island and you've got Maya Bay, James Bond Island, Monkey Island and all these places and um, I don't think uh, Patea can actually compete with that so that, um, oh, Ratcha Island is another beautiful one um, yeah so I don't think um, Patea can compete with that so as far as attractions go I think um, patong has got that one Another thing both of these places have in common are walking streets. Now, Patea has got its own walking street full of go-go bars and um, clubs and restaurants and you name it, it's got it. But so has um, Patong. patong has got um, Bungla Road and it's got nightclubs and um, some really big nightclubs actually. Um, it's got bars, it's got go-go bars, it's got... Um, ping pong shows, it's got everything pretty much that um, Patea's got. So the walking street thing, I think that they're about even on that one. Okay, now there's just the normal bars. Well, I don't think anyone can compete with um, Patea. Patea's got more bars than anywhere else on, on the planet, I think. There's just bars everywhere, girly bars everywhere. Um, and there's just so many bars in Patea and in Jomtia and they're just everywhere. Now, Patong, Patong's got Bungla Road and it's got bars up and down the beach and um, you know Top Market and other places like that but nowhere near as many bars as um, Patea. So I think Patea wins the bar scene. Okay the next one I would look at would be um, the food choices. Now both places have got an ex excellent variety of foods. They've both got uh, street food carts, they've both got excellent restaurants, they've both got resorts with great food. Um, but this this one I would say would have to go to Patea just for the, the absolute variety of food there is and um, there's just an absolutely huge variety 
of food just due to the size of patea. Uh, patea is so much bigger than um, patong. So yeah, I think um, patea wins this one. Okay, so next would be shopping guys. Just remember this is my opinion and my opinion only and um, I have done some research on this but um, it's mainly my opinion. Okay, now shopping. Okay, so both places are fairly similar and um, both have good selection of shopping centres. But again, I think Patea wins. It's just the sheer size of Patea and um, there's just so much going on in Patea. Um, I think Patea would win this one. Like they both have their big, uh, huge shopping malls and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I think Patea wins the shopping centre just because of the size of the place. Okay, so the next category I think would be hotels. Now, I think Phuket would win this one. Um, not because of the volume, just the, the number of like really high-end hotels. I think Phuket um, and Patong have a, a lot more four and five star hotels than Pattaya does. So, um, I think in the luxury stakes, Patong would win this one. Budget accommodation. Now, this is where I think Pattaya will win hands down. I think Pattaya is just generally a cheaper place to live and accommodation is cheaper. Um, and it's a lot lower end as well than a lot of the resorts in um, Patong. So I think you've got more choice, um, yeah, a lot more variety and over a bigger area in um, Pattaya than you do in Patong. So I think um, Pattaya wins this one hands down. Okay, as a family holiday destination, I think this is another one where Patong wins hands down. I think it's uh, much um, more family friendly and, um, and it's got a lot more things to do as far as entertaining the whole family than um, Patea does. I think um, it covers all the bases there. There's you name it, you can do it in, um, in Patong or in Phuket. Okay, so which place is safer? Now, I think both places are relatively safe. Um, they're both well patrolled with a lot of police and um, tourist police. And um, I, th I think either, either place you feel fairly safe. Now, I've been here for a couple of years and I've felt fairly safe since I've been here. So um, either place, I think it's sort of equal on that, that side of things. Okay, nightlife. Now that's going to be a big factor in both places. Both places go off and um, um, you know have great nightlife. But when busy, I believe Patea wins this one hands down. It just has so many places and so much um, more, so many more places to go than Patong does. So I don't think anywhere else in the world can compare to um, Patea for this. Okay, so which place is cheaper to live? Now this is pretty easy guys. This one is hands down Patea. Now rents and everything are cheaper in Patea. Patea doesn't have as many high-end hotels and resorts as um, Phuket. Food and everything is cheaper. Rents are cheaper. Basically, I think Phuket, Patong is roughly about 1.5 times the price of Patea, just on average. So another thing to factor in guys is transportation. How to get around these places. How would you get around if you don't have a motorbike? Now this one is um, Patea's the cl uh, clear winner. Um, Patea has BART buses everywhere. So wherever you are, you can just walk out onto the street pretty much and jump on the back of a BART bus um, and it'll take you on a route. And when you get off you pay 10 BART. And that's pretty much for nearly anywhere just about. However, Patong by comparison has tuk-tuks and um, to get a tuk-tuk or a taxi, motorbike taxi, um, you know, they'll charge you a couple of hundred baht and just drive you up the road, you know what I mean? So um, Patong is definitely a lot more expensive to um, get transport than is Patea. Now there are a couple of more factors guys that you might want to consider before moving here. Things like um, air quality. Now, 
Phuket's an island down south and the air quality down there is substantially better than Pattaya. We often get the smoke from the burn-offs and you know pollution and smog and what have you in Pattaya where Phuket the air quality is much better so you need to factor that in so air quality um, Patong winds hands down another one guys is which place is cleaner Pattaya or Patong now this is another easy one guys um, yeah, Patong wins this one hands down, guys. It's a lot cleaner than Pattaya. Pattaya is a bit of a mess sometimes, and um, there's always a lot going on, a lot of building, and there's always a lot of rubbish and stuff going around. But it, it gets removed. But yeah, but it's not as um, tidy and neat and pretty as Phuket or Patong. So which one's better, guys? I think they've both got their um, goods and bads. But for me, um, looks wise, I think Pat um, Patong is a, a much nicer place than Pattaya. Um, but price wise, it's expensive compared to Pattaya. Now Pattaya is reasonably priced and um, it's got a lot going for it. But if you've got respiratory problems and stuff like that, I would say go to Phuket. But if that's not an issue and you like um, you know, to live on a reasonable budget, you can't really go past Pattaya. 